You know, one of my favorite parts of thrifting is poking around the toy bag section. Bright colored artifacts of plastic randomly grouped together and shoved into more plastic for usually three to five dollars a bag. It's a beacon of hope and possibility for the collectors and resellers alike. But is there treasure? Greetings, I'm Sweet Jimmy Cook, and today we're going to take a closer look at toy bags, including an unfurling of a few that had a cache of weapons and some interesting Overlook vintage items. But before we go any further, please like and subscribe, share videos from the Sweet Jimmy Network, home of interesting people, places, and things. Check this month in punk rock history and 60 second album reviews and other unconventional programs you won't find anywhere else now back to the stuff so here i have uh three toy bags that i got at savers um i didn't pay what they say um because i had a 20 percent coupon and uh you get a coupon every time you donate something so um i'll probably wind up donating some of those so this particular bag caught my eye because of these guys. I had a bunch of them, and I played with them just as much as I played with my high-end action figures. This is mostly toy soldiers and um, the older ones. Dropped the camera, opened it like a savage because I was getting sick of the staples. And uh, do you see what I see? That looks like a Darth Maul lightsaber. Yeah, check that out. That guy is from the thing. I got some lightsabers. And what do I see? There's some Star Wars guys. We got a messed up 3PO. We might be able to find his hands. Clone Trooper with the gun in his hand. And that... Oh, I got excited. Eh, that looks like the gun is cut in half. But still, a Clone Trooper. So what I do is I make little sublots of different things that I find in these bags and eventually sell them. Or you can lot the weapons. Like, this is a, a Chewbacca... Um, satchel Wookiee purse I don't know what to call it but yeah that's a Star Wars thing we'll put the lightsabers over here and there's a little Star Wars lot and I think I saw an IG-88 which I did this one's pretty good with the articulation I mean the old one was so bad like it's common to see broken arms on the IG-88 from the from the original molding of it I got a box of money yeah, so we're gonna see like there's a Yoda in here. See people miss this stuff and I find it exciting, like there are all kinds of guns. Now there are Facebook groups and places you can go to help you ID the stuff. Um Google Lens works really well as as well. I don't know what this is. It looks broken. Um like a gaffy stick? That's probably Star Wars. You will find garbage. Uh, lots of fun stuff. A knight without a sword. We might be able to find his sword. I've never seen this army guy before. Another helmet. You can put that together as a junk lot. Probably get like five or ten bucks. Most impressive. That looks broken, but. That is definitely a Stormtrooper gun. I got things kind of spread out, uh, so we'll go over it. So first, there's this Star Wars stuff. Um, there's a lot of guns in here. There's a Boba Fett backpack, what seems to be a part of the Emperor's hand. But there are action figure guys out there that would um, see this and use it for an effect for one of their displays or their, uh, you know, they'll figure it out. There's some really crafty people out there. So. You know, junky stuff does kind of sell sometimes. And I think this is Cad Bane's hat. There's probably a lot of Cad Bane's out there without a hat. He's very popular. Uh, 3PO, unfortunately, looks great, but he's got no hands. Uh, that's a shame, and I couldn't find his hands. Oh, curse the maker. And then uh, there's a clone trooper in here. I think with the guns and the figures here, as is, you know, I'd probably ask 20 bucks for that. There's droid head. That might be a build a figure droid. I gotta look into that. Um, these don't look like the most exciting of army men. They look really poorly made, so I don't know. I'll lot them off, but there are these ones that are interesting that I'm gonna double check 
to see, just to make sure that they're not World War II Nazi ones. They actually look like Russian soldiers. Like, look at this guy's hat. Oh, you can't look at it. Okay. Yeah, it look, they look Russian. So, I don't know. It's always good to look into it, given that other things in here are from the 70s and 80s um, and some 90s. I think what happens is the people in the back of the thrift store just take handfuls, throw it in a bag, and charge $3.99. There's no rhyme or reason to it most of the time. All right, so we got an update on these blue ones. They were Russian soldiers. Um, it's made by a company called Marks. Um, it's from the 60s. And, uh, yeah, it was made by known communist Karl Marx. No. Groucho made these. He had to have. <laughs> anyway, um, I sold th all these guys. There's 13 of them. I sold them for 20 bucks. I probably should have asked a little more, but I didn't want to overplay my hand. And, uh, yeah. Easy deal. I've already doubled what I paid. I mean, you factor in the fees and stuff, I'm well covered for the three bags already. And that's just one sale. There's this guy, I don't think it's Guts. Guts was like a an army of, like, was like a line of better painted army soldiers. Um, I don't know. It's like a kind of a hollow plastic. I don't know. The guys in the, the one Facebook group are really good. Um, anyway. So, then there's these. These are the Timmy Laser Space Patrol Team. I think they've been repackaged with different names. Um, Darth Vader Ripoff. So, that, that should be good. Um, and then, here's kind of leftovers. These seem to be Playmobil parts. Um, so, I just kind of keep them in a baggie. And then, when I get more, I add them together and sell them as a lot. These are some older 80s. This is like, these used to call this like a rubber eraser. That's an Allosaurus, I think. Pretty badass. And, uh, this is the stuff I need identified. I think this might be a Playmobil chainsaw. I don't know. So, that was 20% off 349s. You want to stand here as I pull them out one at a time? Alright, I'm going to shut the camera off. Super weird! We got a Darth Maul in this bag! Hooray! And I know where his lightsaber is. See? All these amazing things. I mean, it's an older Darth... It's a newer Darth Maul, but it's kind of an older one, but... Ho 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 ho! Anyway. Ooh, we got better of Monkey Man here. He's got both his beanies. That's good. Alright. And... Uh, is that a golf cart? Who would have a matchbox car of a golf cart? So this moss may not be to the army member, but look at the shape. It looks like it might be to like a Dagobah X-Wing that may have been made. My hunch was correct. This goes to an X-Wing. It was a Toys R Us exclusive one that's selling for about 200 bucks. Um, you're going to get 200 bucks for moss, but there are a lot of action figure collectors and people who make displays and take photographs of their stuff. This could probably take most X-Wings and make it look Dagobah. All right, so this is the last bag. I'm not expecting any miracles on this one. So we got a Playmobil guy, and you can tell by the way, this is like an older one, but it's not like I got Boba Fett in my hand here. <laughs> you know, it's just a guy who will go in a lot with other Playmobil stuff and get a few bucks, cover the bag at least, right? Anyway, so, and then, um... I don't know who this Transformer guy is yet, so I should probably look it up, but, um, I don't know, it's pretty cool. This is from an 80s set called Fabuland, which are these, like, really colorful, weird creatures, almost mascot-looking crazy things, or those things that, like, hang out on the beach in Mario Kart <laughs> and knock you over. A Stomper. Stompers were, um, little battery-powered cars from the early 80s, um, but I guess they hung on until the mid-80s because... This little guy is from McDonald's Happy Meal from 86. It's a pretty good shape. This guy is a, uh, uh, Formula Grand Prix Malibu. Uh, it's from 1973. Um, there are ones with, um, a lot more paintware than this that were selling for, uh, 5 dollars 
Um, with $5.99 shipping, which I don't understand, like, it doesn't cost $5.99 to ship this. Quit fleecing people. Anyway, so there you go. Now, you gotta be careful with Hot Wheels because sometimes they reuse the mold so it's a 73 when it's not 73, but I looked for the specific one and I found it, and uh, yeah, yeah, great shape. This is a Majorette um, Renault or 5 Turbo. Um, what I love about Majorette is they got these little serial numbers, just like the um, the Lego sets have serial numbers. Not usually on the Lego pieces, but... <laughs> you can call it a knockoff Rubik's Cube, it's just a puzzle game. It was the style of the time because the Rubik's Cube is so popular, but it's made by a legit company, LJN, and it says 1981, so hey, this is an antique. That's a good find. This bag of toys was one dollar. How could I say no? Alright, this is the unwrapping of my loot. So just as an overview, that's that third generation He-Man collection. That is a how to train your dragon figure. Some of them are on the rarer side and sell big bucks loose. Then I have over here, you got some Imagine X, it looks like Jurassic Park. I don't know if these are to it, because they got this thing, which goes into their hands, but then they have this thing. So it might be the action figures. This is some kind of Godzilla guy. Um, I forget the name of the collection, but I, I had a red one. And here's a Tobey Maguire era Spider-Man. And this guy is a knockoff G.I. Joe made by a company called Chap May. If you see a knockoff G.I. Joe, it's, most of the time it's either Lanyard or Chap May. And then over here, these look like Jurassic Park guys. He said Amblin. Amblin is Spielberg's company. So he did Jurassic Park. So this is his guy. And uh, we got a Ben Affleck Batman. An unidentified horse and a, an array of weapons. I'm assuming this is Batman's. But I'm in a Facebook group that'll help me figure out what I can't figure out. A couple lightsabers. They look imagine XE to me. Um, and this is, this was a dollar. I mean, who could say no to that? This bag was two forty nine, and I'm expecting good things out of it. We got what looks like a JLU um, Adam, and there's a Harlequin peeking out in there, but I don't recognize what collection she's from. Plus, there seems to be some Jazzwares. Um, What's that called? Um, Fortnite. It's called Fortnite. Okay. There seems to be some Fortnite figures in here. Although... This looks like Aquaman. Or Aqua Boy. I didn't know there was a collection of Teen, the teen Titans. Not, not Teen Titans, per se, but that, that other show where... The Black Ops, but this is definitely um, Sportsmaster. He's a DC character. Um, she's a DC character. These aren't Fortnite guys at all. We're going to have to figure out what they are, but it's definitely more than the $249 I paid. There's some vintage animals in here. Get the Adam. Where is she? Harley, dear. Oh no, Harley's got no feet. This is, as they say, garbage. Sneakers to something. And some, like, old horses and stuff. Just probably piece that all together as a lot. Um, there's something sticky here. That's part of the hazards. We're looking at here these shoes. These might be to the six million dollar man. I'm going to do some further research to make sure I'm right, but that could fetch a few bucks because everybody loses their shoes. But to recap, we got some plastic animals. They say Hong Kong, so that means they're vintage. They're at least 80s, maybe 70s. Um, might be able to get a lot, you know, maybe 10 bucks for the lot. Um, him I'll hold on to, and when I get more of him, it's the pajama pants. They're pretty common these days. But this lot here, it's it should be Young Justice. I think her name is Kismet. 
and that's Sportsmaster, and this is Aqualad. I'm batting a thousand today. Her name isn't Kismet, it's Cheshire. And this is, I think, her father, Sportsmaster. And this is definitely Aqualad, but there's two different variations. I haven't finished looking them up yet. I was totally wrong. This is Micron. Micron appeared in a Batman Beyond episode where it was called The Call. It was a two-parter where, you know, Terry McGinnis gets into the, uh, to the JLA. This is the grand finale. 90 cents off of 4.49. Look you over here. Out of the way, pirate. Check it out. That is an 80s G.I. Joe. He was a mail away known as Steel Brigade. Um, there are several variations, but before I grabbed the bag, I made sure he had his thumbs, and he does. This bag is intriguing. Not only do you have a G.I. Joe from the 80s, I am fairly certain that these three guys are Guts, which was an 80s toy line. Unfortunately, this guy lost his hand, so he's garbage. This is a mask from the TV show Mask. So after going through it and weeding out all the broken soldiers, so we got this kind of milit uh, of army soldier, this kind of soldier, this kind of soldier. These all look old, so I'm gonna check marks. This is a Civil War guy. I had definitely marks because it's light blue and uh, it's got the symbol and the little hole on the bottom. And these look very similar to the army men I grew up with, so they're probably 80s, but we're going to check out who they are. Um, pretty sure these are Guts. Of course, we've got the mask and the Steel Brigade fella. According to Yojo.com, this is the version V1D. Its release date was 1989. It's made of repainted parts of Duke, Airborne, Cobra Soldier, and Flash. It's sold for $59. Do you have a good thrift store toy bag story to tell? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share videos with any thrift loving friends. And check out my eBay store, JZOM. Lots of great stuff at reasonable prices with reasonable shipping. For Tales from the Thrift, I'm Jim Cook. Beastman was kind of disappointing. His arm feature doesn't really work. I mean, it's. He's throwing haymakers. Woo! You damn kids! Ah. And now it's time to play the game, Is It a Policeman or a Nazi? Total score, Maidenhead, Rubber Dinosaurs, a buck a piece. I should definitely be able to make that, or maybe I can get a nice...